I'm standing here with Simon after a 5 0 pre season victory against Worksop. Lovely display by the lads. Yeah, second half. I think they caused us a few problems early on in the game. I think it was just a, a case of you know their, their system was, was working well for them against ours. Uh, but we organised it and the lads knew the, their specific roles and um, carried them out to a better effect second half. And then we outnumbered them in areas and caused them uh, problems uh, defensively and took advantage of that. But, you know, we should have scored more first half. But um, still, there's things to work on. Um, but overall, good display, some good goals scored. And they say, because it looked in the first half, actually, the case of we were getting so close to hitting that target, but there was blocks of some good saves by the goalkeeper. Mm. How frustrated were you getting about that? Because we've had that a few times this pre-season already, where we've had the chances, but just not been able to put the ball yeah, away. Yeah, well, hopefully that's just um, the dark cloud uh, clearing there. Literally, um, second half, we, we expressed ourselves a little bit more in front of goal and just hit it. So I said at half-time, yeah, it doesn't matter if you lose a bag of balls. Uh, let the kit man deal with that. And, um, <laughs> ourselves and, and go for it you know, when we see an opportunity have a crack now we've got to ask you about Ryan because he did take a nasty knock again how's he doing uh, well it's just um, a swollen big toe I think he'll be okay with his ice in it um, he started really sharply actually and um, he, he was just unfortunate you know he could have done with 90 minutes but um, he'll be okay super I mean the second half as well I mean again totally different display and James Walshall and Louis Swain seem to link up well yeah they did yeah, two big guys Obviously, uh, Wally knows this um, level very well, and he's got that ruthless streak in him that we uh, haven't had at this club uh, during my time, anyway. Um, and Louis is a, a local lad with raw ingredients to do well, and took his uh, goal very well. And also, Dave McGurk seems to get the biggest cheer of the day when he scored that thumping header at the end. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, he'll, uh, he'll score a few more like that. I, mean, I think we've got some big bodies in the box and there's some great deliveries, so we're going to be a threat from set pieces. Now, how different is this kind of match to like a Sheffield United uh, XI who obviously we're going to get on Tuesday? What kind of match are you uh, expecting from that one? Well, probably not too dissimilar because um, you know it's a nice surface. They'll knock it about, and we've got to organise quickly, especially in midfield, and, and make sure if we can't make it, uh, you know, immediate pressure on the ball, we drop and delay the attacks, get compact, and and, um, and then we break fast, uh, which we're good at doing, as you see in the last couple of games. Um, but they'll be technically gifted, they'll be young lads and like I said, works up word today and I thought they played well. One last thing is, I mean, you've got to be pleased with the pitch because we had a deluge mm. midway through the first half but it's still up perfectly. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's amazing isn't it? I think uh, there'll be a few more divots today but um, <laughs> the didn't have come down. Uh, but yeah, we'll sort it out and we're ready to go again on Tuesday. Superb, thank you very much. Sam. Cheers.